Hello, Ricky from Springdale Tractor. Um, we're going to talk about our new heavy equipment line today. It's Hyundai. Uh, today I have Brad Haythorn. He is going to be our heavy equipment specialist. So Brad, why don't you talk about this stuff? Thanks, Ricky. So today we're here with a Hyundai HX140L. This is a uh, 15 to 16 ton class machine. Hyundai makes excavators that weigh approximately 2,000 pounds up to a 50 ton machine. So we have a wide range to cover any need you might have. All right, starting at the front of the machine, here you see the bucket, of course, and this is the Hyundai Hydraulic Quick Attach. What this allows you to do is from the operator station, you flip a switch. This red piece of metal here rolls back. You know you're unlocked at that point. You leave the bucket, you slide over, grab the other bucket, pick it up, push the button, this slides back into place showing you that you're locked in place and you're ready to go without ever having to get out of the machine, you can change buckets. This machine's also plumbed for a hammer or a thumb. This one has one set of hydraulic. We can get it with two sets, so if you want to have a thumb and add a hammer to it, that's perfectly all right, we can handle that. These booms are guaranteed from Hyundai. Five years, 10,000 hours against any stress fractures, any weld breaks, or anything like that. They put a phenomenal warranty on these booms because they believe in their steel. They have some of the best steel in the world. They have their own steel plant. They build ships, and this is the kind of this is ship steel that these are built out of. And there's nothing stronger than ship steel. So as you can see, we ordered this machine in with a dozer blade. This is an option. Not everyone does that, but we can offer a dozer blade all the way from our mini X's up to a 160 size machine. The advantage of this dozer blade on this machine is this machine is eight foot wide, 32,000 pounds. So you can put it on behind a panel hitch trailer, you can hold it on any standard trailer, it's not over width, it's not overweight, so it makes it easy to transport. But the addition of this blade, when you put this down in stability, makes this machine dig like a lot bigger machine. So you can get the productivity out of a 160 size machine out of a 140 with lower cost, lower fuel use because it's smaller, and ease of transport without having to uh, permit. Okay, so right behind this locked panel is your cab filtration system, so again, you don't have to crawl under the seat, stand on your head and say, say Hail Mary's to be able to change out the air conditioner filter. Another great convenient feature. Then we go here, open this up. Here we have our batteries, air cleaner, fuse panel, master power switch. Again, all Hyundais have master power switches. These are removable screens to clean, to be able to clean to keep your, your radiators clean. And you have test ports in here. We have a switch here to change the controls if you want one style of control versus the other. That comes standard to change the controls on this machine. Coming around to the back of the machine, here's our rear view camera. That's standard in all models. An option that we have is a camera system that's on four corners. So at any point, you can see all the way around your machine when you're working. And it has encroachment warning. So if someone gets too close to it, it'll let you know for safety. So here we move over to the right side of the machine. We open up this panel, and here we have our hydraulic pump. Now this is a Hyundai pump, but it's built on the Kawasaki design using the Kawasaki patent, so it's very reliable. If you've been in this business, you know there's almost nothing better than a Kawasaki pump. Here's our filters. We have more test ports down here. It's just very simple, easy to get to, and lots of room to get in here to work, as you can tell, and do your testing. So under this locking cap here is your blue def. This is your diesel particulate fluid. And in here you have a little red light. And it says you're filling this up, the light will come on, so you know that you're getting full. That way you don't spill it out all over and ruin the paint. So we have our step here to get it back, but first we have a toolbox here. Open this up. We've got a place for our tools. If you decide to put a hammer on it, you need an automatic grease system. Right there you can put a five gallon bucket of grease in the pump in here so you can, it'll auto grease your hammer for you. Now from the top of the machine, you can see we can open that bonnet up and you have access to the engine compartment and all the hydraulics down there and your test ports and all your grease points. So now I'm up on top of the machine. Again, here's your hydraulic fill. Here's your fuel fill right here. And if you'll notice this gate, this right here, it's a sight glass. So when you're in the cab, even though you have an electric uh, fuel gauge, you have a sight glass you can see from inside the cab. Also, look down here at your hydraulic motors and everything and all the hoses. There's no electric over hydraulic. This is strictly pilot control. When you move the joystick, you're moving fluid. So you're feeling what you're digging. Any operator will tell you when you're doing that, it helps so much because if you're getting ready to hit a line that's buried underneath the ground that you didn't know was there, 
you can feel that ground will get softer at that point. And if you can feel that, it'll keep you from tearing things up you shouldn't. This grease block allows us to stand right there on solid footing and grease the bearings and all the uh, pins on this boom. And it runs all the way up to the front. So you're not having to climb and get into places where you could fall off and get hurt trying to maintain your machine. Okay, so now we're gonna open up the bonnet to get into the engine compartment. Raise that up, it locks up out of the way here. And now we can see the engine. This has a Perkins power plant. Again, if you'll notice the uh, core for the, the radiator up here, it's, a, it's not plastic like you'll see on a lot of things. It's aluminum, very well built machine. And, and everyone knows Perkins has been around for a hundred years. They're great power plants, very fuel efficient. And they do, we just do a really good job with these. So this machine has the Perkins power plant. As you get bigger up in like our 220 size excavators, then you go back to the Cummins uh, power plant like the loader, wheel loaders have. And even up into some of the larger ones have the Scania. The important thing about the bigger ones with the Cummins is they do not have to have the particulate filter, just like the loaders don't. So here we are in the cab, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about this seat. This seat has about 15 positions. It's got more adjustments than your grandma's Cadillac. Also, you see where the placement of the handles are. Very comfortable for me. There's a ratchet system under here. So you've got longer arms than me. All you have to do is ratchet it, and they move out forward. Or you see them coming up? So you can tailor this seat and these controls to fit you perfectly where you're at your most comfortable position. Here's our radio, MP3 music player. Here's our air conditioner controls right here, easy to reach, easy to get to and work. Here's our standard joystick with our hydraulic controls. There's the horn. If you'll notice, this is basically the same monitoring system as our wheel loaders have. It's got the same thing. You can control your power, your uh, work. If you notice here, I click this. Now I'm going to a hammer, or I'm back to bucket. Um, your speed, your turtle, and, and your lights and windshield wipers and horns and all that. We also have glass up top. So when you're working up high, you can see what you're doing. You've got your front glass that opens with a sunscreen. And we offer fog protection, which fog is fall on guard. We have uh, screens that go over the top and then down to the front to protect it whenever you're you're in uh, debris handling. Okay, folks, that's our breakdown of the HX140 excavator. Um, I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, I'm going to send it back to you, Ricky. Thanks, Brad. Remember, come by Springdale Tractor for all your equipment needs. Thanks for watching.